What's up, Fox and Fox here, and today we are talking about Intel Iris Xe graphics in 2023. Now, I've had this laptop for about a year now, which is crazy to me. Um, and Iris Xe graphics are still some of the most common graphics you see in laptops. So I wanted to test them today in AAA titles to see how they hold up. The configuration that I have is an i7-1260P, which has four performance cores and eight efficiency cores, but it will most certainly be held back by Intel Iris Xe graphics. I have it in a Samsung Book 2 Pro. It was plugged in while playing and was set to the highest performance setting. So without any further ado, let's get into the benchmarks. The first game on the list is an indie title, Amnesia the Bunker. At the low settings with dynamic resolution, we saw an almost constant 60 FPS, rounding out at 59. We saw 1% low of 46 and a 0.1% low of 3. So there was like one stutter, but as you can tell by the 1% low frame rate, it wasn't common at all. This game ran very smoothly. So I decided to just run it at native 1080p at the low settings, and we saw an average frame rate of 54 with a 1% low of 35 and a 0.1% low of 33. Up next is a new game that actually looks really interesting called Lies of P. Now I was playing this at 1080p low settings with the native resolution. I saw an average frame rate of 27 with a 1% low of 13 and a 0.1% low of 3. So we didn't get quite playable frame rates at native 1080p, but I decided to crank things all the way up to ultra performance FSR to get us to 60 FPS with an average frame rate with a 1% low of 31 and a 0.1% low of 24. So FSR is going to help you if you want to get 30 FPS in this game, you can probably just set it to quality mode and you'll be perfectly fine. But I wanted to get 60 FPS and that's exactly what we got. Street Fighter 6 up next didn't let me change anything in the demo, including settings, so it ran awfully. I don't understand what was wrong with this game, but we got an average frame rate of 6.6, .6, a 1% low of 6, and a 0.1% low of 5. So although the frames were consistent, they were consistently terrible. So you cannot play Street Fighter 6, at least I can't play Street Fighter 6, on this laptop. You know what else I can't play on this laptop? Resident Evil. It crashed every single time I tried to launch it. And Diablo 4, one of my favorite games right now, at the low settings with Ultra Performance FSR, only saw an average frame rate of 14 FPS with a 1% low of 10 and a 0.1% low of 6. So not a playable frame rate, unfortunately. And I'm really surprised with Ultra Performance that this is the result that we got, but alas, it is the result that we got. In conclusion, Iris Xe graphics suck now. And, um... Driver support is probably the biggest issue, um, but games in general just aren't meant to run on Iris Xe graphics anymore. They were good when they first came out, and I don't understand what's happened since then, but they're just not good anymore. And you can't play a lot of AAA titles. You can still play indie games and CSGO or other esports titles without any issue. So if that's what you're looking for, that's what you should expect. Um, but any sort of AAA titles are not going to run on this anymore, especially in 2023. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, subscribe, do what you usually do, and as always, buy yourself something nice.